Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy for Productive, Healthy Life Goals In the vast spectrum of personal, professional, and interpersonal pursuits, Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy emerges as a guiding force, unraveling barriers that impede short-term triumphs and long-term achievements. By dissecting dysfunctional beliefs, emotions, and behaviors across diverse life domains, this psychotherapy model empowers individuals to navigate hurdles and progress toward their aspirations. What is the general approach of rational emotive behavior therapy? The model employs cognitive, emotive, and behavioral interventions, addressing dysfunctional beliefs, emotions, and behaviors. Cognitive interventions aim to identify, challenge, and replace demandingness, awfulizing, frustration and tolerance, and global negative ratings. Emotive interventions link emotions to underlying beliefs, while behavioral interventions prescribe functional alternative behaviors. Let's cover cognitive interventions and disputes. Using pragmatic, empirical, logical, and friendship disputes, rational emotive behavior therapy challenges dysfunctional beliefs. For instance, a demanding belief impeding personal relationships could be, I must always be right. Through pragmatic disputes, Individuals question its utility. How does insisting on being right benefit your relationships? Empirical disputes seek evidence supporting this belief, often revealing its scarcity. Logical disputes challenge necessity. Does it logically follow that being right is crucial for relationships? A friendship dispute prompts reflection on advice for a friend in a similar situation. Emotive interventions and dysfunctional-slash-functional emotions. The model also employs emotive interventions to address dysfunctional emotions and behaviors. Emotions like anxiety, depression, anger, and hurt stem from underlying unhelpful negative beliefs. Transforming beliefs like, I cannot handle criticism, to, I can learn from feedback, shifts emotions from anxiety to concern, fostering more constructive responses. Similarly, Changing beliefs about unavoidable negative situations and events to manageable challenges shifts emotions from depression to sadness, enabling engagement rather than withdrawal. Behavioral interventions and dysfunctional-slash-functional behaviors. Finally, rational emotive behavior therapy uses behavioral interventions that prescribe functional alternative behaviors to replace maladaptive ones. For instance, transforming avoidance behaviors due to anxiety into approaching challenging situations fosters growth. Similarly, replacing withdrawal behaviors associated with depression with active engagement facilitates personal development. Rational emotive behavior therapy can be effectively used to develop helpful short-term and long-term goals in multiple domains of life to better live out of one's important values in life. Let's cover some of these short-term and long-term goals and consider the dysfunctional and functional beliefs associated with them. Let's first consider personal short-term goals such as fostering self-compassion to build confidence are hindered by beliefs like, I must never fail. Transforming this belief to mistakes or opportunities for growth fosters self-compassion, aiding in confidence building. Long-term aspirations like building meaningful relationships might be impeded by beliefs such as, I must be liked by everyone. Transforming this belief to, I value genuine connections over universal approval nurtures authentic relationships. Let's also consider important professional short-term goals. Short-term objectives like acquiring new skills might be hindered by beliefs such as, I'm not capable of learning new things. Transforming this belief to, I can learn and grow with effort, facilitates skill acquisition. Long-term aspirations like career advancement could be impeded by beliefs like, if I make a mistake, it's a disaster. Transforming this belief to, mistakes are learning opportunities, not catastrophes, fosters resilience and growth. Very important are short-term interpersonal goals. Short-term goals like effective communication might face barriers from beliefs like, I can't express my opinions without offending others. Transforming this belief to, I can communicate assertively and respectfully aids in effective interaction. Long-term aspirations like cultivating empathy could be hindered by beliefs such as others' emotions don't affect me. Transforming this belief to, understanding others' emotions enhances connection fosters empathy. Many individuals also have short-term educational goals. Short-term goals like mastering a subject might be impeded by beliefs such as, if I struggle, I'm not smart enough. Transforming this belief to struggles are part of the learning process, aids in mastering subjects. Long-term aspirations like gaining knowledge could face barriers from beliefs like, I can't understand complex topics. Transforming this belief to, with effort, I can comprehend complex concepts facilitates ongoing learning. Most individuals also have important business goals. 
Short-term goals like improving efficiency might be hindered by beliefs such as changes are always risky. Transforming this belief to change can lead to innovation and growth fosters a proactive attitude. Long-term aspirations like establishing a strong brand could face barriers from beliefs like competition is insurmountable. Transforming this belief to differentiation can create a strong brand identity aids in brand development. To relax and enrich one's overall life, most of us have recreational goals. Short-term goals like exploring hobbies might be impeded by beliefs such as, I'm not talented enough. Transforming this belief to enjoying hobbies is about personal fulfillment. Not innate talent encourages exploration. Long-term aspirations like achieving fitness goals could face barriers from beliefs like, exercise is too strenuous. Transforming this belief to exercise enhances my well-being and vitality aids in fitness pursuits. Some of our most important life goals are our short-term spiritual goals. Short-term goals like practicing mindfulness might face barriers from beliefs like, I'm too distracted for meditation. Transforming this belief to mindfulness practice can help me focus and find peace, aids in meditation. Long-term aspirations like achieving spiritual enlightenment could be hindered by beliefs such as enlightenment is unattainable. Transforming this belief to spiritual growth is a journey of continuous learning facilitates progress. Let's briefly consider the biochemistry of striving for short-term and long-term life goals. Striving for short-term goals triggers dopamine release, propelling motivation, while pursuit of long-term goals fosters oxytocin release, reinforcing life's meaning and connections. Overall, rational emotive behavior therapy serves as a powerful compass guiding individuals through the intricate landscape of beliefs, emotions, and behaviors, shaping their journey towards fulfilling life aspirations. By dissecting and transforming dysfunctional elements across personal, professional, interpersonal, educational, business, recreational, and spiritual domains, this psychotherapy model becomes a catalyst for personal evolution and goal attainment. As we close this exploration, remember that the power to forge a path to success lies within embracing functional alternatives and challenging limiting beliefs. Rational emotive behavior therapy empowers individuals to navigate the maze of life, fostering resilience, purpose, and a profound sense of accomplishment. We hope this journey with this powerful psychotherapy model ignites a fire within you to challenge, evolve, and carve a path toward your aspirations, one belief at a time. Let the transformation begin and may newfound clarity, resilience, and unwavering determination guide your pursuit of goals. Thank you for joining us on this empowering journey towards achieving your life's most meaningful objectives. This video is intended for educational purposes only. It does not constitute professional advice, nor is it a substitute for legal, medical, or psychological guidance or treatment. Readers seeking specific advice or assistance concerning their personal situations are strongly encouraged to consult with appropriately qualified professionals in the relevant field. The information provided herein is general in nature and should not be used as a replacement for expert consultation or treatment.